Hey guys, Metal Driver here, back to finish off the WrestleMania Elite series with the Build-A-Figure Vince McMahon pieces, doing a double review of AJ Styles and Bret Hart. So we already know what the boxes look like, so let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and open these up and take a closer look at both of the figures. Alright, and here we have both the phenomenal AJ Styles and Bret Hitman Hart out of the packaging. But before we take a look at the figures, let's go ahead and look at the accessories and also the Vince McMahon Build-A-Figure pieces that they come with. So Bret Hart comes with the legs of Vince McMahon and AJ Styles comes with the upper body, along with interchangeable hands that are both holding up three fingers. So let's go ahead and put the torso and the legs together. Alright, so there we go. Now let's go ahead and take the arms. And now let's go ahead and pop the head on. And there you go. Now you have WrestleMania 3 Vince McMahon, all suited up, looking nice. The bow tie is missing a little bit of red paint here. But aside from that, it looks decent. It looks fine. Now let's put him up next to the previous Vince McMahon that was released, and yeah, there is a height difference, so that's a bit annoying. So unless that doesn't bother you, it should be a fine figure to build. It is kind of stupid that there's such a big height difference with the two. I do prefer the blue suited Vince McMahon figure, but this one is nice as well. Plus he does come with the interchangeable three finger hands, so I do like that. And then Bret Hart comes with some interchangeable gripping hands. And he comes with a soft good shirt, which is a nice looking shirt. The printing looks really good, really detailed. I do not have the previous version that was released. This is pretty much an upgraded version of that figure, so I do think the printing is a little bit different, but not too big of a difference. There is Velcro on the back, so you can take this shirt off, so we'll go ahead and do that. Then taking a closer look at the head sculpt, and I'm not a fan of this head sculpt. I know this is supposed to be an older version of Brett, but honestly, I think any of the previous Bret Hart head sculpts would have been fine. Like the one from the Survivor Series set that was recently released, or even that 2-pack with Goldberg. But this is fine, I guess. It is upgraded with the TrueFX printing, however, the paint on my Brett looks kind of bad. The eyes look really lopsided, it looks like he got smacked in the face with a 2x4. The lips are painted well enough, the eyebrows look lopsided as well. The hair is sculpted fine, I guess. The paint detailing does look pretty good. I don't think there's any shadowing in there. I think it's probably just the effect of the sculpt work. But yeah, those eyes are really disappointing. Then look at the torso. It is similar to the other Brett figures that we have. The arms look pretty decent. These are double jointed elbows, so that is really nice. It is hindered a bit by this elbow pad. But if you wanted, you could pop these arms off and put them onto one of the previous Brett figures. So that would actually be really cool. I'm probably not going to do it, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Paint on the wristbands look pretty good for the most part, same thing with the elbows. It's black with a little bit of white down here. So in case I didn't mention, this is the Bret Hart based on his WrestleMania match against Vince McMahon. So it is an older Bret, so he did wear shorts during that match. The lower body pretty much looks like the same lower body used for the John Cena figures. You got a painted knee pad right here, painted socks, and then some standard shoes. So. It's an okay figure, not really a Bret Hart that I'm interested in. Would have been nice if the paint apps were good on the head skin, but unfortunately mine did not turn out all that well. Then looking at AJ's accessories, he comes with two interchangeable open gloved hands, painted really well. You've got the Phenomenal One logo painted really well on the gloves. You got the initials AJ here near the thumb, which is painted pretty well for the most part. And then he has this soft goods sleeveless t-shirt that says the OC printed really well. It's a nice material, same material as the Bret Hart shirt. I do like this printing, really nice. And then you can take it off with the Velcro on the back. Then look at the head scan. This is not brand new. We have seen this many, many times before. It is a good head scan. I do like this one. So I don't mind Mattel reusing this. However, the paint on mine came out very poorly. So much like my Bret Hart, the paint on the eyes are not centered properly. You can tell that they are going upwards, that the eyeball is actually right underneath right there. The paint on the lips, the mouth, the beard, and the teeth look off as well. So very disappointing. Unfortunately, two of the figures from the set have QC issues on the paint. I'm sure it's just mine. It's probably not a widespread issue. The hair looks fine. Again, same as the other AJ sculpts that we have received before. Look at the body, it's the same body that we have seen with AJ Styles. The paint on the tattoos look really good, nice crisp, clean line work, same thing with the numbers here. Elbow pad has the Phenomenal One logo. 
gloves are painted well for the most part, although the AJ logo right here is a bit sloppy compared to the other hands. Same thing with this one, although not too bad. He's got styles right there on the wrist of the gloves. And then the cool thing about this AJ Styles is that he's got double jointed elbows. So you can actually properly pose him doing his pose with his gloves. Couldn't really do that with the other AJ figures, but this one you can pull that off. And then the lower body are just some pants, jean, lower legs that we have seen before with some Steve Austin figures, and standard black boots. Alright, quickly showing the articulation. They pretty much all have the same points, or both I should say. So I'm going to show off the range of motion that each figure has. Now the double jointed elbows here, again as I said, is a bit hindered or limited by that elbow pad. It's got a wrist swivel and a hinge. Torso goes that far down, that far back. Waist swivel, legs go that far out, that high up, thigh cut, double jointed knees. Swivel at the top of the foot, ankle goes that high up, that far down, and some slight ankle pivot. AJ's head goes that high up, which isn't high at all. That far down actually doesn't move at all, so who am I kidding? Does sort of swivel, sort of pivots. Shoulder goes that high up, all the way around. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, although this one's much better. Swivel and a hinge. Goes that far forward, that far back. Waist swivel. Legs go that far out, that high up. Thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Ankle goes that high up, that far down. Bit limited here. And some good ankle pivot. Alright, and I'm not going to show the new Elite WrestleMania AJ with all the other AJ figures that I have because they're pretty much the same. But here he is next to a top picks AJ Styles. And I could have sworn that they had the same head skulls, but they don't. So this new WrestleMania AJ figure, he actually shares a head skull with Elite 77, which I actually don't have. And this AJ does not have any chest hair, and neither does that figure. So that is a difference between this AJ and some of the previous ones. This top picks has chest hair, as you can see, and he's also a bit shorter. Here he is next to the Elite Boneyard Match Undertaker figure. So if you're curious on how those two look, well, that's how they look. And if you did miss out on that Elite Undertaker figure, he is being re-released in a Top Picks that's coming out very soon. And before I forget, AJ does come with his shovel, which Taker also comes with. And here's the WrestleMania Elite Old Man Bret Hart next to the recently released Survivor Series Bret Hart figure. And so as I said, if you wanted to swap out the arms so that way Survivor Series Bret had double jointed elbows, you could do that. Alright, so what are my final thoughts on the new WrestleMania Elite, AJ Styles and Bret Hart? Honestly, I think these are the two weaker figures of the set. Both head sculpts came out with bad paint apps on mine, so that sucks. The AJ figure is okay. I'm not that thrilled about it, but it is nice to have him because he is based on the Boneyard match, so that way I can pair him up with the Undertaker figure. The Bret Hart, on the other hand, I really do not care about that figure at all. It's just an upgraded re-release of a previous Bret that we had that I never had interest in picking up, and I don't know if anyone was clamoring for a re-release of that figure. Maybe I'm wrong, but I certainly didn't want a re-release. Honestly, if Mattel was going to release a WrestleMania Bret Hart, they should have done WrestleMania 12 with the all-black attire. That is the attire that most collectors have been asking for because we've only received it once in a Defining Moments release, and I unfortunately don't have that, and I know many collectors don't, so that would have been a better choice. But they decided to go with this one, and it's really not much that I can say that's nice other than he's got a cool shirt. And then the Vince McMahon figure is alright. It does suck that he is short, but I think it's a fine figure. So if you want to pick up Brett and AJ just so you can have the Vince McMahon pieces, then I think that's fine. Other than that, I don't think they're worth picking up. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. If you want a chance to get a shout out in the next video, leave a comment down below. Just like Yasin. Yasin? Is it Yasin or Yasin? It's gotta be one of those two, right? I think it's Yasin. Anyways, love your channel, and, and I'm also an articulation guy, so never stop showing the articulation on the figures. Yeah, I agree with that statement. I am also an articulation guy. Follow me on social media so you can be up to date with all my wrestling figure photography, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>